Crafters! Crafters! Good to see you again. Tom Creek here with Creek Bank Creations. Here are some results from the web. <laughs> Can you, is anybody out there? See anybody? Are you sure this is live? I am live. Nobody's yeah. out there yet. Nobody's out there. Well, when you're there, we are ready to get going, crafters. There's Peggy Wood. Hey, Peggy Wood. How are you? They are coming. Peggy, I shipped your order out today. Thank you very much. Hi, Cindy Hugger. How are you? Don's, Don's there. Hi, Don. Diane Morse. Good to see you, Diane. Diana McCurt. McCurt. There Mac you go. I, I'm sorry, Diane. I mispronounced you. McCurt Makatura, excuse me. Hey, Dave. Good to see you, Dave Starkey. Oh, good to have you all here today. Hey, we are going to have some fun tonight. We are going to have some fun. I got some great trivia questions. We're going to give away one of these stylish aprons I'm wearing tonight. I decided to give another one of these away. And we're also going to give away a Sysix 3D embossing folder tonight as well. You guys have some very interesting questions. I do have a question for you out there. Because I asked the question live, and sometimes some of our viewers, because they're on a delay, they don't get it. If I type in the question at the same time I ask the question, does that help everybody to get the, uh, the trivia question in a timely manner? Yes or no? Because it seemed like I did both last week, and nobody's answering. Okay, that's fine. We'll type them both. Glad to see and your hat's back. My hat's back. Yeah, you can see I'm starting. To, I'm healing up. I'm healing up. No black eye anymore. Yeah. Barb said no. No. Barb answered yes. She Barb, no what? No. No, you're not getting the trivia questions? I. What was the question? Do I need to type it in and say it out loud? Doesn't matter to me. Both work. Works both ways. Works both ways. Be sure to read the text, okay? And because sometimes speech. I do type it in too, okay? All right. Uh, we're going to be doing slider cards tonight. That's right. Julie is going to be doing this one. It's a new birthday card with the with the slide die. Isn't that cool? Did you see that? I'm going to show you some technique using the slide guide. And she's also going to be doing the slide card with the, with the, it's not sliding, Julie. Ah, it's stuck. What are you doing? I'm trying okay, to slide. Just leave it alone. Right? Just I was told to leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs> the lady said, "Just leave it alone." All right, we got a special on that. The slider bundle special. You get the slide die, the transportation stamp that we're using tonight, the transportation accessories. The transportation. No transportation stamp is good with that accessories. You must have, yes, accessories. And of course, a package of slide guides. 24 sets. Remember, I told you before, 24 males and 24 females in the bag. If you leave them in the bag long enough, they breed like guppies. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that, I want you to text me later, and I've got a bridge I want to sell to you, okay? All right, now now the bundle special, that's $43.96. Uh, cents worth of goodies for only wow thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. That's right, only thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. That's right, you too can have it for only thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. We'll take care of you. Uh, that's a savings of almost thirteen dollars. Uh, and let's see what else we got going. I hope everybody's had a good weekend. I had fun. We did an impromptu video uh, yesterday on the um, the doctor was a lady card. <laughs> <laughs> or what as Julie lady? called it, women doctor or woman doctor. And I thought she meant gynecologist. Uh, why are we doing a gynecologist guy, really? You know, some <laughs> So with that, are you ready? I am ready. Mrs. Creek is ready to go. We're uh, gonna rock and roll tonight. My hair looks good. Julie Julie told me to put the hat on because of the hair. All right. See you. <laughs> Crafters will be back shortly. Okay, here's your phone. Sorry, guys. Um, 
And we didn't reset the other thing again. Okay. Shoot, guys, I'm sorry. One of these days we're going to have this figured out. Can there. you come over here and fix that? Um, so we did, earlier we did the first responder cards. Hello, Angie. Hello, Christine. How's everybody doing? Um, yes, Tom's very politically incorrect. Um, <laughs> we um, we did the um, the doctor cards and several people asked about um, the woman doctor. So, um, the doctor was a lady. The doctor was a lady. So I made a, um, I did, I went online. So somebody suggested, um, a scoop neck for the shirt and we could do that with like cutting a circle die. So I kind of messed around with that, but then I wouldn't, I didn't really like the look. So I went online and I just Googled woman doctor and all the people that came up were like white coat. And then they just had like an open button down shirt on. So I amended that die and made a card and it's posted on the youtube channel and um you can look at it there if you buy the first responder download on the internet on the website the new instructions are on there with the instructions included for the woman doctor if you already bought the pdf for the first responder cards and you would like the updated version then you can email me and I will send it to you. I thought I had everyone emailed, but if I missed you, just let me know. So how is everyone doing? Everybody's logging on, looking good. And um, the uh, weather here in Indiana has been better because it's sunny. But um, yes, Jordan Beverly Jordan said, tell him it's the video prior to this. And it is, it's the one from yesterday, right prior to this. Um, we are all blessed that we're not sick. You're right about that, um, Barbara. And um, I just wanted to um, encourage you that as we go through this process that we're all going through, that um, you're gonna have highs and lows. We do, Tom and I both do too. And um, I have been relying upon my people, my, my, my friends, my close friends for support. And um, like when you hit bottom and you just need somebody to talk to. So if you don't have that kind of person, you can email me and Tom and I will pray for you because we are all facing this thing in a different way. Everyone's, you know, you might be lonely, you might be frustrated, you might be angry, um, but you need to be able to talk about that stuff and deal with that stuff. So if you don't have anybody, you can email me and Tom and I will pray for you. And um, Tom and I have, um, you know, we're having, we're having this moment. You can't go downtown. <laughs> <laughs> you can do very difficult things in life when you have the support of other people. So if you don't have anybody, you can email us and we'll pray for you. So um, that's my encouragement for you tonight. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, the slide die tonight. And this is a product that's been around uh, for us for a long time. It's one of the first products that we came out with. And um, so we're gonna go back. I know some of you, a lot of you own it. So um, we're gonna go over it tonight and hopefully um, you're gonna learn. I hope, I hope I impart some knowledge There's to you tonight. Um, so we are, this is the basic die set and it has three different die configurations. We're gonna work with this one, uh, the circle and the slidey thing. And um, the reason that the airplane was not moving was because what Tom did not know was that when I was taking a picture of this, I put a piece of um, that sticky goo in there because the card kept moving. <laughs> and you didn't unstick it? And I did not unstick, can you help me with this? What do you need? I need to pull the unsticky, the sticky goo off. Yeah. So I, I, that's why I didn't want Tom why pulling you on do it. that card second? <laughs> well, you work on that while I talk. I have talking to do. So this is going to cut the basic shape in the card base for you. And then we're going to die cut a vehicle. And then we're going to adhere it into that slit. And we're going to be able to slide. Now, when we started this whole thing, we did the whole penny in the foam tape thing like everyone else does or the washer thing you can do. And um, I just was really frustrated with the weight of the penny. The foam tape wants to get caught 
It like catches in the track. That frustrated me. Increases your postage costs. Increases your postage. So um, that is when we came out with the slide guides. So in the slide guide package, there are 24 males and females, and they're going to click together right in the slit, and they're sized to fit in the slit. And we are talking about um, the slide die tonight. We do also have the slit die, which is just a straight, it's a series of straight lines. We aren't doing a video on that because I think if you get this, you won't have any problem using that, this and that. So we use slides on those. We also use the um, slide guides on the barn door, which has the same kind of tracks that slide. So I do have a video um, that I previously have filmed on the barn door. And I also have another video that's in the archives in there um, on how to use that slit die for scrapbook pages. That's a cool trick. And there's a candy box that you can make with the slit die. So if you don't have those, those are the slit and the barn door. Those are fun ones too. And you can kind of take what you learn here and use it over there. So, um, looking good. Okay. Tom's still taking my card about apart over there. So, um, how are we doing Tom? <laughs> so we're, we're going to work. We're going to work with the, um, vehicle set tonight. So what we're going to do is um, learn about it. And one of the cool things that I don't know if people realize is that it um, has, it has the vehicles on it and then it has people on it. People. So people. this is meant for you to stamp whatever piece of transportation that you want. And then you can go back in and put the kids in the window. So you can make the, boys or girls, whatever your kids or grandkids look like to go in the window of the vehicles. And tonight we're going to start there because I want to show you that. And I want to show you how the accessory stamp, which is this piece right here, is designed to fit in the back of the truck. Or you can put stuff up here in the train. So I want to explain to you that and I'm going to, I want to show you how that works. I want to show you the um, train. This is the train. I did this today and the train is, um, I gotta hold it right, is um, I took the hearts off of the accessory set and stamped those on the top. And then I die cut the number three from the Tom's text. And then we have a really cool little birthday card. So we're not going to actually make this card tonight, but you can see how having that accessory set that you can add things in is um, a fun feature. Um, this is the slide card with the tractor set, and we're not doing tractors tonight, but we do have um, the whole tractor set. And the tractor set does have the dies. And um, I, got, I got the and we have the um, tractor paper pad. Can you... Grab me a tractor paper bread. So we're not going to do tractors tonight, but the tractor set does have um, the matching die set that goes with it. And I know some of you love that. And um, yeah, what was Deb? What did you ask? Deb's comment went away. Can you please post the photo of the train and tractor? So I will make a um, Pinterest page with the slide cards and put all of those cards that we used tonight on the Pinterest page. And um, I don't think they are on there. So here's a little, here's a car. And this is the stripe slider stencil little car. So I will add these to the YouTube page so you can see them. So uh, tractor, tractor die paper pad. So the question I got, yes, yeah, the question I got this week was, is there a die for this uh, vehicle set? And the answer is no, because it's meant to be amended. So it's meant to be that you can add things to the back of the truck or add things to the train. And if you, if I have a die for it, you're not going to be able to, it won't die cut properly because you're going to, I want you to be able to play with it and amend it. So, um, is there De a Debbie way? Weiser asks, is there a way to have a banner with happy birthday, birthday. slide? 
Um, does, do you mean a banner die? Is that what she means? We have the banner um, die set that you could definitely um, put stamp that and put that in. That's a really good idea. And that's um, the banners with the little fishtails on the end. And really what's cool is if you um, stamp that and then die cut it, it's a little bit long, but if you put two folds on either side and put some foam tape behind it, you can actually make that banner look <laughs> dimensional. And um, that's a fun little thing. Um, yes, the banner trailing on the airplane looks amazing, but in order to do that, I would have needed to use a, um, a different slide, a different track of the die, and I wanted to use the round one so you guys could see how that works. And if we had a banner falling off of this, it would not work very well. It works really well if you use a short, straight slide and run it long ways. Yes. I forgot to tell them to punch subscribe and punch the little bell yes to give them a yes so I to do if that. you haven't subscribed we would love it if you would subscribe and um hit the notification bell which is to the right if you hit the notification bell then you'll get a notification when we are on okay so we're gonna get started i do have a pdf file that um i put out with this kit and the pdf file is a cheat sheet and um, so you can go to the website and download it. It is free. It also has the instructions for the cards. So um, you're gonna find this three page flyer with the instructions. And then on the back, you have this cheat sheet. This is the jig sheet that I use when I set up a card. And so I made it for you, for you to print off. When you do it at home, I recommend that you take your eight and a half by 11 or, or get, get a piece of orange paper. I cut it down to 12. I use 12 by 12 paper all the time. So I cut mine down, run it through my printer and then it's on orange paper so that I know that it's a jig and I make a jig anytime there's measuring or alignment things going on for my cards. I make a jig. I keep it with my die package and I always make it on orange paper. So when I get it out, I know I, I need that. Okay, so um, you if you're making the airplane card or you're going to use that circle shape, the first thing you're going to do is print this off and you want to cut the two rectangle pieces off the bottom and you want to die cut or cut by hand the outside circle for one. And do you see how I have it marked? Large circle pattern, small circle pattern. So cut them out to size and these are sized for the A2 card. So those are your um, rings. So when you line those up, they're perfectly aligned and we're gonna use that for a cheater technique. So you're gonna do that. Then you're gonna have this top piece and I just leave this piece whole. It technically don't really need this one over here, but I provided it so you could see if you were at home and not watching this that, video. Don't use that one side and do it the well, other way. Is that an X? No, no, Stop. no, don't, don't confuse people. Excuse me. <laughs> this humor will do nothing but confuse you. Mm -hmm. Technically, this is the one that you need, and it's the one we'll use tonight. So um, that is that information that is free on the internet. So the first thing we're going to do, I want to do the stamping and coloring first because I want you to see that. And so we're gonna, we are going to do some coloring tonight just because of the nature of what we're doing. Um, Hmm, I could just steal my airplane off of there and we wouldn't have to color airplane, but. So we're gonna stamp it in color tonight. And I am going to color with um, some colored pencils and use some Gamsol. And um, if you are not familiar with that product, you're gonna see me demo it tonight. And I do have links on our blog. If you go to creekbankcreations.blogspot.com and look up this blog post for the slide cards, there are direct links to Amazon. We do not sell these products, but you can purchase them on Amazon. And if you purchase them through the links that I've provided for you, Tom and I do get a little bit of a kickback on that. And I do have a link there for undo too, which a lot of you have asked me about and we cannot ship, but Amazon can evidently. So um, if you purchase through that link, then Tom and I will get a little bit of a kickback and um, that'll help us out. So I'm going to roll the camera down. We're going down. So hang on. Down. Anybody down, have any down. more questions before we go? Good boys. Okay, we're ready to go down. So we're going down. 
Hang on. Okay. Woo, you went fast tonight. Okay. How's everybody? How does that look? We doing okay? Are you getting any feedback, Tom? Mm -hmm. okay. um, so we're going to start with stamping tonight, and um, I am using the Mini Misty. And um, if you're wondering if it matters what stamp tool you're using, I don't think it does. I'm just using this tonight um, because it's easier for me to transport. It's small. When you make the slide cards, I do recommend that you... Um, stamp on really heavy cardstock. So I am using our 110 pound cardstock and um, I'm gonna show you how I double up on these designs because um, when you are stamping a product that is going to be manhandled by children and adults, you need to have, um, you need it to be heavy duty. So what we're going to do is stamp and then we're going to adhere it to another piece of 110 pound cardstock and then cut it out. So um, when I start, I have, all of my stamp boards have this clear piece of acetate in them and I simply have that taped onto the side with a piece of um, shipping tape. And you're gonna see why here in a minute. So the first thing we're gonna do is stamp our airplane and we're gonna need our truck. We'll just, We'll stamp them both at the same time. Okay, Tom, can I get you to turn the volume down over there? Indeed. Okay. All right, so I've got my pieces on there. We're going to shut the door, and we're going to ink and stamp. So what, what what's great about this set is we're going to stamp, and um, then we're going to go back in and drop in the kids in the window. And we're going to take care of our, we're going to fill up our Not, truck. Don't drop the kids out of the window, but drop them yes, in the window. Yes, in the window. You know, you could put them in the back of the truck. Do you know anybody that rides, lets kids ride in the back of a truck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I let our grandson ride on the tailgate up and down the driveway last summer while I was holding him. And he thought that was absolutely amazing. Okay. We have our vehicles there. Hey, Mr. Creek, could you get that wet for me? No problem. I did not get my Wonder Wipe wet. So I'm going to put a little girl in the window of the airplane, and I can set her in. Here's what's great about the clear acetate sheet. If I want to align her up and I'm worried that I might have some ink residue on her. Hey, speaking of the Wonder Wipe. Yes. Well, that's something, uh, uh, an advantage I've noticed, and those customers who bought the Wonder Wipes, they'll find... But these soak water up so much quicker than the other. Yes, brand. that's because the, they're the, not hard. They but, don't get hard. But but the but when you just need to to uh, so, dehydrate them. Yes. They uh, they get wet real. So quick. Wonder Wipe is our uh, chamois that we're using to clean off our stamps. And Tom's right; it does it doesn't get uh, as hard as a rock, um, like other chamois do. It's soft. Okay, now what we want to do is put our people in the car. And then we're doing that truck with the birthday present. So we're going to set our birthday present in there. And if we have that clear sheet of acetate, we can line everything up. We don't have to worry about it getting residue. Like if I have a little bit of black ink left on my stamp, I don't have to worry about it. And now when I shut the door, shut the door. I push that down and I don't have to worry about that getting tracked up and I'm ready to stamp. So what's fun is you got, you got, you have, Mrs. Uh, Borbley would be horrified. That was my English teacher from eighth grade. Got, you have the ability to choose a child that, oh, got my, my image off. They're both off. Let's redo. Well, this is what's great about live. You get to see. The mistakes. Let's redo. So I think my acetate may be the issue there. What type of ink are we using tonight? I have Memento tonight. 
Memento, which yes. is an archival link. Yes. And it's just because I don't have my other ink here. I You can stamp with the Catherine Pooler black. So I'm going to make sure my people and my presents are clean. Put them up here. And let's try again. I don't know if my acetate messed that up. Try again. You know what they say, if you don't succeed at first, try again. That's why you have the stamp board. Actually, you know what Tom says? You know what Tom says? What is that saying you say when I get frustrated about eating, it's, it's eating an elephant? Forgiveness and you, know, you, you say that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to get him really good. Now, I'm going to set him right on there because I don't want him to be off again. So we're going to set that on. So my method of using the acetate did not work. Don't use that acetate. I use the acetate all the time. Put our kids in there. This is a really small space. You could even put, um, like the train has extra windows. You could put kids in the window. Wipe off our stamp. Okay, pick up our stamp. Oh, I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. Okay. Slip sliding away. And stamp. See, even Julie makes mistakes. Slip sliding away. We're not aiming for perfection. The your destination, the more you can slide <laughs> There we go. Much better. Now, we've got our images. We're going to go back, and we're going to color those. Color! That's right. Living color. These little people are so small that you have to be pretty good about putting them away, or you'll end up losing them. Not that I have ever done that at all. Ha ha. Okay, let's get rid of this, and we're going to color. So when I have these little um, pieces, I do not like to use markers. I just, I just don't care for that look. I really prefer, sorry, to use the colored pencils. So these are the Chameleon colored pencils, and this set comes with, like, all the colors, and they have dark colors and light colors. Now, when you work with uh, Gamsol... A, slide question, a side question. Okay. Is there a video available about the bookmark card guy? I saw it mentioned as a graduation card and was intrigued from Judy Austin. There, there, Judy, that is a very good question. Good question, Judy. And there is not because it is a really simple card. We could get to it later. And um, it's good when people ask questions like that because it reminds me that we should do video. Um, but um, I don't have one. It's really simple. It's a base. Um, I just colored that wrong. It's a base um, die that you pop into an A2 card. And then there's a piece for the bookmark um, that actually cuts the bookmark shape for you. So um, it's pretty simple. But we can try to get to that later. So the colored pencils, I'm just going to color. I'm going to see if I can go back over that with my blue because I really didn't intend for that to be that dark, talking and working at the same time. So I'm going to go back over that with the blue. When we use the Gamsol with the blending stump, we can kind of blend the colors. So we're going to put the two colors down, and then we're going to go back over it with the Gamsol and um, blend it better. Blend it up. So the Gamsol liquid, you just want to take your blending stump and get a little bit of Gamsol on it and then put it directly on your ink or your colored pencil and that'll blend for you. So you can put two colors of colored pencil down and blend the two shades together. And, um, this is a set, these pencils are from, um, they're made by Chameleon, 
but you can um, get colored pencils at any craft store. You just want to get a good quality. If you buy a better quality one, um, you'll find they blend better. Does anybody have a brand that they really like that they use? What is the V? So what's fun is if you have, if grandpa has a truck, you can, um, get that little handle. You can color this the same color as grandpa's truck. Now, once you have color on that blending stump, you need to have this little piece of sandpaper so you can pull that color off so that your blending stump is clean so you don't transfer colors. Do we, do we have any of the, uh, of the, uh... Stock. You know, I, I'm not sure, Tom, do you want to go back and look in the supply room? Um, Debbie, I will check and see if we have any stamp boards in stock. Self I think we do. Where the self-adhesive pearls are? I don't remember if we do or if we don't. We had some, but I don't know where we're at on things. Okay, so we're just going to color our truck in. So have you guys been working on any project at home or have you had the time? I know Deb Cronkite has been creating all kinds of things and Hope has been too. Um, Debbie, I don't know if it's on the website. So Tom, Tom just needs to go check. I might have, I know our inventory was really tight and it may be that I took them off before we went to the last show because of the inventory being so tight. So Tom will have to go look and see what he can find. We, um, we came back from that last show, which was um, St. Louis, and we really haven't fully unpacked the, tra the uh, container. We have, it's out of the trailer. Yes, we do have. We do have the two. We have the large, or the medium size, and the large Misty. That's the standard size, Misty. Okay, I do not know if that's on the website, and um, we can, I can check that when we're done tonight and uh, figure that out. Do you see who that is, Tom? Who's we can send her, send her a link later. Okay, and we're gonna do, we're going to do our airplane while we're here, color him in. I'm going to get him a little darker. Okay. So our truck is light blue. Get our truck going. So is anybody, are they telling about the projects they're working on? Mm -hmm. Making birthday so cards. Making birthday cards for people for this year. Also making cards for shut-ins. The house is dusty, but the cards are getting made. Nice. Romaine has been working on cards for the local King Supplies that I've had two years and did not have a chance to use them. We'll have plenty of time now. Good. What was the blending tool you were using for the colored pencil? She missed that. Sarah, are you talking about the gamma saw? Um, the blending, when when you use the gamma saw, and this is, oh, if you... That's the blending tool? That's what Sarah wants to know? Yeah. When you use the gamma saw, you need to have a blending tool to use with it. And on our website, can you type in to the... Um, into the chat, the blog post. So this is a blending stump. And you, when you buy these, they come in a pack with a bunch of different sizes. Blending stump, which is just like rolled paper, really tight paper. All right, we're talking about gamma saw or are we talking about blending stumps right now? We're talking about both. Okay, so I need... What well, you need to do... The, the correct spelling of gamma saw. Um, I don't know. 
I think it's G-A-M-I-S-O-L, right? Yeah, G-A, I think it's O-L. Ask uh, Diane Morris if she can help you out. She probably knows. Um, because my bottle doesn't even have a label on it. I've had mine for so long. So, okay, stumps, Yamasol. I'm not. So, um, you buy these, and there's a whole bunch. Thank you, Beverly Yamasol. There's a bunch of these in the collection, and usually when you purchase it, the stick, the sanding stick, comes with it. So this is just sandpaper on this little sheet. And when this gets nasty, I'm going to tear it off and throw it away. The purpose of the sandpaper is so that I can keep my blending stump clean so that I don't have blue on here and then transfer it off. So on our blog for when you look at the blog posts, you see that I'm just getting that stump wet with the Gamsol and then that's blending the color for me. So this is super easy way to color. You can actually get a whole lot more detail with it than I'm doing right here. You can use dark colors and light colors and blend. But when I'm doing a small area, I just this is my preferred way to do it because I just think it's faster. Do we pair, do we sell a stubs <laughs> or stumps? <laughs> do we sell a stubs? Tom, I, I've I've said like twice now. <laughs> <laughs> that the blog post that's on our blog has a direct link to our um selling channel on amazon so they can buy the gamsol and the blending stumps through amazon because we do not sell it gotcha. if they purchase through our blog it helps us and we make a small spiff on it does that make sense tom mm -hmm. you know tom and i communicate occasionally <laughs> there's my little guy Got to have some brown hair. And then we need to finish off our airplane. So we're going to color him in. So, yes, yeah, super easy, great way to color. If you don't like all the detail and fuss of um, dealing with shading and coloring with the Copics, this is old school, super easy way to go. Just hide them from your children and grandchildren. You. The other thing is, if you do not have a... Um, really good pencil sharpener. When you buy, if you're purchasing this product, these products, buy a really good um, pencil sharpener. And I did not give you a link for that on the blog post, but you want to keep your pencils really sharp and you want a good pencil sharpener because you don't want to waste um, how you sharpen it. You'll end up wasting the the lead and or it's not lead but whatever that color is in there so get a good pencil sharpener as well did i miss something thomas i think you got it baby. okay so i'm going to blend just a little bit more and then we're going to be ready to move on blending blendy 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 anybody ready to fly again yeah i'm ready to fly again get on the old airplane Okay, we're good. Now, I'm gonna close up our stuff. What's nice about the uh, chameleons is they all come in that little carrying case. Nice, nice Can little you sell set. the chameleons? <laughs> that was gonna be the next <sighs> So what I wanna do is take my scissors and trim this out. And trim this out. That's some good you cutting. To ask, yes. Do you like using watercolor pencils? Yes, it is. Um, but the watercolor pencil, you're going to get a whole lot more movement out of. Um, this is this is not this um, is not going to move around like watercolor will. And we are not on watercolor paper. It's hard to cut watercolor paper into a shape this small. So um, I do have watercolor pencils and use them occasionally, but um, I just, for this, I like this because it, it, you can control the ink. It doesn't move around on you. So we're going to take some liquid adhesive and um, this is the Art Institute glue. We do not have Art Institute. We're out of it right now, um, but we do have the bottle bobbles back in stock and the colors she sent are absolutely beautiful. 
Um, she sent purples and greens and yellows. So we do have that back in stock, the bottle bobble, and that is a stainless steel head pin. So I'm going to put liquid glue all over the back of this and get it going here. And what I want to do is adhere this to another sheet of 110 pound cardstock because it's going to take so much abuse. And we're doing this first because I like for this to sit and get hard before I cut it. If you try to cut this when the glue is wet, you'll have a mushy edge. Would you show um, the bottle bottle real quick? Do you want to go get some of those oh, packages goodness, and we can show those? Yeah. yeah, Tom will run and go get the package. This is bottle bobble, stainless steel head pin. These are handmade. Um, by a gal from California that makes these for us. And um, when I ordered the last time I ordered, and let me tell you, that lady was so happy that we ordered, um, which was just this week. She sent me some really nice um, colors. I asked for purple, and uh, because a lot of you asked for purples and pinks. So um, Tom will go get the colors. So what we want to do, what we're going to do is work on that round card first. So we are going to take our cardstock, get my stuff out here, and um, we are going to cut our cardstock. Tom, just throw these some of these down here for you. So if you order these online, if you tell us like what color you want, we can we'll try to dig through. I can tell you there are not very many um, blues in here, but. Um, that one. I don't know if you can see that through the packaging or not, but, um, oh, it's sealed. I can't open it. Really pretty colors. I don't know if you can tell. Really nice. They like green. Here's seafoam. So when, if you order, put in the comment section what color you like, and we'll try to get the color for you. Okay. Okay, so we're going to locate our um, cardstock. Sorry about that. I thought I, I should have turned my volume off, and I did not. Hopefully my phone won't ring. Um, we're going to take our heavy-duty piece of cardstock, and it is 3.75 by 5, and we are going to ink the background with clouds. So I'm going to take my super tacky quarter-inch tape and give myself about an inch of tape and put my paper down on that. Whenever you do the background and you're going to end up cutting a slit or slide in it, you need to use the heavy cardstock so that it holds up. So whatever you have that's nice and heavy. So I have the, um, this is the cloud stencil and it has different cloud patterns on it and the grass and we are going to make clouds. So we're gonna put that towards the top of our page. Got ink on my hand. And we're going to make clouds. So we're going to pick up ink. This is, we're using dye-based ink. I don't know if you guys can see the ink pad. We're using dye-based ink, using the J brush. This is our brush that we use for stenciled work. It slides up and down, but today we're just going to use the band with it back. And we're going to pick up ink, pushing side to side. And I got a lot of ink on there. And we're going to brush off. Now, I already know, because I've done this a few times, that a really light hand is really all I need. So I'm going to go across, I'm going to pick that up, and then I'm going to slide over. And you can decide how close you want your clouds together, how far apart. And you can see I did not even re-ink because I know I have a ton of ink in this brush. I pushed down really hard. We got the Florida girls tonight. Mm -hmm. Some of the beaches are open and some of them are closed. I heard that rumor. We are hopeful that Florida is doing well and uh, that we will be able to be in Florida in June at the Stamp Fest show. I'm scheduled to be teaching class. We'll see what happens. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. So we're going all the way down. This is the 
clouds stencil. Now, when you get to the bottom, I usually drop one more in real light. And then I like to just kind of brush at the bottom, brush that up and just add a little blue. If not, you have a whole lot of white there. So we're going to add a little blue. That is done. Got our background done. Now, in the beginning, we taped that down with that um, super tacky tape, so it's stuck to the card surface. So we're gonna put a little undo on there. That's gonna suspend that and allow me to pull that off the card surface without tearing up my card. I'm, the only thing I'm slated to teach at right now is um, Stamp Fest. And if that gets canceled, I will not reschedule it. Okay, so we have our background and we need to drop in those circle dies. So we are going to get out our circle dies that we have and we are going to set those up. So you have this pattern that I gave you. And you want to, the reason I provided this for you is that it helps you line up your um, dies perfectly so they don't shift on you. This is my little cheater tip. So this is um, stencil tape. It's sticky on the top. And what I do for the first time I put this down is I fold these two ends in and I put the first piece down like this. So I'm sticky side up. There's a lot of Florida going on tonight, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to go up and down. Teaching in Indianapolis. I will be teaching at the Indiana Paper Arts Gathering. Yes. I might not be sane if we have to do all these shows back to back. Um which it looks like is going to happen uh, by the time we get to November. Tom and I will have had like maybe three weekends off in five months. So that'll be crazy, crazy, crazy. We said we weren't going to work as hard this year. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's sticky side up. We're going to take our dies and we're going to set those dies right on top of that pattern. And then we know that we have those pieces centered. And I have this one needs to be shifted a little bit. Get that right on top of the line. Okay, this is why I make jigs, cheater jigs. Push that down into the tape. And now when you pull this up, you have your pattern so that that is set up so you can die cut. We're going to trim that off. Does that make sense? Now, we want to put that on our card, on our card here. So what we're going to do is take our large circle pattern, and we are going to set that right on top of the card. Now, when I make these slide cards, I do prefer to double mat them. So this is made on a surface that's 3.75 by 5. And then it's matted on the blue, both of them. So this card is actually made to fit that size. So here's my large circle pattern. I'm going to put it on top of my card. And I'm going to take my die. And I'm going to set that right on top of that circle pattern. I'm going to push down my um, purple tape. And I'm going to remove the pattern. That pattern is just made so that it centers this on my card where I want it perfectly. Okay, then we're going to take it and put it in the die cut machine and cut it. So I'm going to shift this over here and die cut. Hang on here while we die cut. You know, this might be the night of Julie making mistakes. Hmm. Hang on, ladies, my tape is shifting. Got to hold everything still. Okay, we have this, we're not cutting. I'm cutting with the Vagabond 2. Tom, do you have Vagabond 2s or what, where are you at on that process? Yes, somebody asked me about it. I'm just asking you. 
So there's our piece that we've cut. So what we wanna do is take our undo, and we're using undo because it suspends adhesion on the tape. So I'm gonna be able, able, able to lift the tape off of here without tearing up the face of my card. And I don't have to worry about it messing up that ink. And I need the outside piece and the inside piece. How are we doing? If um, I see that uh, David, it, which I'm sure that's probably not David, but someone named David is asking about that PDF download. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I have never downloaded anything from our website, so I don't know how to do it. Um, if you have trouble, email me, and I can just email you the PDF. I'll look and sure you paid for it, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so now what we have... Are you talking to David? Yes. David is cutting. Good David good. is code for don't Delilah. Say, don't say. Oh, okay. All right. Don't say. Okay. So now we have our two pieces for our card. So what I like to do when I make these cards is use a card that's the same size, and we're going to go right on top of there. So the next thing we want to know is what is the pattern for that small circle so that we can set that in there. So we're just going to go and really lightly trace where that circle goes just so we have a guide for it. And then we want to adhere this inked piece to the base. We're gonna take our clear foam tape and add that to the base. Ooh. I need to get decent scissors over here. These are not my favorite scissors. No, because they're all not good There's ones. Pair, no, do not want big pair. So we're just going to put our foam tape all the way around that edge. Did you say you were going to explain to David how to uh, download that PDF? I told David that um, if they have trouble with the PDFs, I've, I'm going to put this foam tape on here. And if I'm concerned that that is too close to that edge, then I go in with my scissors and trim that. And that is another good thing about the clear is that you can actually go in and cut it in half. So I'm just gonna trim that a little bit because we do not want that slide guide getting caught in the tape. So if you made this card full size A2, like I've cut it down a little bit cause I'm matting it. You wouldn't have to worry about this, but um, we wanna make sure that we're not getting caught in it. Trim that off. So they can email me if they can't figure out the PDF, Tom. I need to do that myself and learn the process and I just haven't had a chance. All the way around. So I, um, I will also go back, mm, better trim that. And I'm um, just going to cut that right down the middle. Um, add these cards to our Facebook page. So if you guys have slide cards that you've made, if you post them, that really helps um, the Facebook page. It helps more people see the post. It is good for us if you'll share those things. Just trim it down. It's like a little snake. Going right down there. Mercy. It's trim. Now, this got twisted. We're gonna straighten him out. There we go. Pick our liner off. And we, I like to um, adhere this to a background surface before I put it on my card. And so we're gonna adhere this to our background, which is cut the same size. So what we have is this really super sticky 
red liner tape. And we are going to adhere it. Guys, I am so sorry. I did not get that thing turned off. Um, we're going to adhere that to the surface of this card. So what I want to do is just put some undo there. And then if I have to arrange or move it because I didn't get it right the first time, I have time because I have undo there. And I can set that right on top and get it exactly where I want to. Now, we're going to take our slide guides. And those come in... You have in that package 24 males and 24 females. The male is the smaller one. So you want to find the smaller one. And we're going to set that right in the side right there. And then we're going to put foam tape on the back of our circle. And we're going to add that inner circle into our card. And when you put the foam tape on, can you put the undo on the foam tape or does it need to be on the paper? You can um, put it on the foam tape. I Sometimes the foam tape, if you get too much undo on it, gets really sticky and weird. It doesn't hurt it, but I just think it's easier to put it on the paper. And you don't have to have a ton of it. You just want to get it wet. So when we Only go... Between cards. I'm sorry? Are we in between cards? Oh, no, baby. We're still on the first one. Okay. How many viewers do you have? 62. 80. Oh, I have 62 here. We have 80. You have 80 right now? Uh -huh. mm. What's I your number for the night? I came in late, so what PDF are you speaking of? And will I be able to catch it? Gosh. The um, let me do this and, and I will explain that. Okay, so remember we marked where that inner circle was because we need to put that inside piece on. Okay, so we're going to put our undo on there. And then you kind of want to look at your cloud pattern because we have a definite pattern here. And you want to slide that on and use your little marks as a guideline. And if you have that undo down there, you will have time to move that around and get it where you want it. And if you don't get it right the first time, it'll be okay because you can just get it wet and move it around again until you get it where you want it. So that's why we made the two, um, the uh, the pattern. And I see I've got my clouds running crooked. Straighten them up. So the circle is a little bit larger than the other two slides because I wanted it to freely slide around. The others are pretty tight. This one's a little bit loose. So we're going to click that together, and we have just made our circle piece. Now, what do we need? We need an airplane. Um, so I do have the stamp sediment that I've already, um, done, but I'm not going to take the time to put that on tonight because that's just adding it down here. Here's my airplane. We're going to go back in and cut out the airplane. Now I will tell you, um, when you cut small items, small pieces like this, having a good pair of scissors is really important for you to get a clean edge. And a good pair of these are not a good pair of scissors. Do pair of scissors? I don't think I have any here. There's some back there on the track. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any good ones here. We'll see what he comes up with. I need. I like the tweezer bees if I have any, the yellow and black ones. Tom's looking back in the class supplies to see. In exam room two is the class supplies. And... Um, you know, we took over a doctor's office in January. We are, oh, look at that. He is the man of the hour. Um, where'd you put him at, hon? Right there on the roll of tape. Right here. So we took over a doctor's office. So right now we're sitting in the waiting room. And the um, class, oh, those are so nice. The class supplies are located in exam room two. There we go. Got our, our little airplane. So a good pair of scissors. Oh my goodness, Mr. Creek, I need mini glue dots. No Are they here? Are they here? No. Glue dots, Mr. Creek. <laughs> so we're going to get a mini glue dot and we're gonna glue dot that on there. Now we have our background. 
which is our blue that we cut four by 4.25. And so while Tom's getting my glue dot, oh shoot, I just blew my slide guide out of there. We'll slip him back in. I have to be more gentle with my card because it didn't have the top on it. Glue dots are 20% off right now. Glue dot, the mini glue dot. So we're going to use the mini glue dot. Tape all the way around. Slip my slide guide back in there. There we go. Okay. So the um, mini glue dot. We're going to pull that front off. And then we have the clear piece. We're going to push that glue dot right on the slide guide. And we're going to put our little airplane right on there, and that will give our airplane the ability to spin all the way around. Isn't that fun? So it, I did a graduation card like this, and I used the graduation hat to flip all around. That's fun. And then um, I added the stamp sentiment, I hope you have a beautiful day, across the bottom. I'm not going to take time to put that on tonight because you guys know how to add a sentiment to a card. I do want to show you how when you... Um, put these on top of an accent color like this blue cardstock. And that is why I cut it a little bit smaller. It really pops that up off the surface. Okay, any questions? Anybody have any questions about what we just did? Are you done? I'm done with card one. I'm waiting for questions. Any questions? Okay, so um, do you want me to pull the phone up so you can come and do that question? Yes. And then um, I'm going to pull the phone up, ladies, so hang on. And then I'm also going to mess with, um, do you think I can get to the hello? Get to the settings and um, do I dare try that? Turn my volume? I, I guess I can at least turn it down. Can you order that online? What's that? I'm not sure. Kathy R., are you referring to anything or... Uh, can you order on, can I order online? Yes, Kathy, you can order online. Go to www.creekbankcreations.com. The PDF is on the website under downloads, and this, the PDF that we're using tonight, has the full instructions for the two cards that we're doing tonight. And if you look online, if you look up the slide bundle online, there's a list of all the things that we use tonight and, and it has links to the products on the website. So even if you don't want to buy the bundle, but you're interested in something else that we use tonight, the links are there under bundle special on the website. If you want the PDF files, those are under downloads. So you'd go to, I think it's shop with us and then download. So the PDF file has the instructions and those patterns that we talked about that I used tonight. And that's in the PDF file. If you cannot figure out how to um, get it online, email me, Julie. Um, my email address is creekbc at gmail.com. And I will email it to you. It's nice. I like to keep these in the package with the die. And then I have like, oh yeah, she did that. And that type of thing. Okay, Mr. Creek says he has things to give away. Somebody wanted to know about the Misty, right? I'll try to do that while you're doing this. Okay. okay. Well, I, when I step over there, I want you to hit the little paper. Okay, I'm already up. Because I've got the question already. Okay. Ready. I'm going to ask the question. What am I doing? You're going to hit the arrow. I've already got the question. Okay. When I tell you to. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm going to give away a Creek Bank Creations apron. Okay. Trivia question tonight. This first one. In Texas, Texas, as I say, Texas, down in Texas, it's illegal to swear in front of what? Go ahead and hit the, type it in, Julie. All right, I already typed it. You just have to yeah, hit there. Yeah, you spelled illegal wrong. But that's fine. Just, just send it so it's in a time okay. limit. It's illegal to swear okay. in front of what? First person okay. that gives me the answer wins the apron. Julie, are you ready to come back? I am. Here comes Julie. Oh, what was the question? A woman. In Texas. It's illegal to swear in front of... While he's doing that, I'm going to cut out my my truck, okay? So, I'm going to use my good scissors, and I'm going to cut. 
That way y'all don't have to sit and watch me cut. So I, when I cut these out, I like to cut them on the line, right on the line. So Sharon is in Texas. Is Sharon here tonight? Who's usually. here from Texas? If you're here from Texas, um, can you like let us know if you're here from Texas? Because Texas got freedom, didn't they? Didn't the governor? Freedom! Didn't the governor um, release them? So Sharon could be out like having Starbucks coffee and She's, yeah, or something stuff like that. Is she is Sharon here tonight? They're all Sharon. still. Jo they're all still Yellow Rose. Are you there tonight? You should know this one. Of course, she's from originally. From Hope is Hope here. Hope, yeah, Hope or Melody. They don't know. But yeah, Sharon's there. Sharon, you should know this trivia Sharon, question. Sharon, are you having? Are you are you getting your freedom back? Everybody wants to live in Texas. Nobody's got the answer. Keep going. She does have Brahms. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did she say that or did you say that? She did. Oh, that was not funny, Sharon. That is not right. So if you if you don't know about bronze ice cream, if you go to Texas, you can have awesome ice cream, hand dipped ice cream. Are you still working on your? Yeah, nobody's got the got the answer. Keep guessing. Hold it, Lisa hey! Stevens is the winner. <laughs> a dead, a corpse, a dead person. What is, you can't cuss in front of a dead person? No, a, a corpse. It's That's disrespectful. Right. Lisa Stevens is the one. You know, I went to this funeral one time. This um, lovely woman of God passed away, and Tom and I are at the funeral. And someone went up to the casket. Can I tell this story? Is that me? Is yes. This one about me? Yes. You're not talking about the rubber chicken, are you? <laughs> Better not. Yeah. I want it's cats out of the bag right now. Uh, Tom had a rubber chicken. I know. <laughs> I don't know why Tom had a rubber chicken at a funeral, but he had a rubber chicken with um, a tutu on it. What did you do? You put it in the ah. Uh, Never mind. Anyway. I I was horrified, and I said, your mother would have wrung your neck. <laughs> um, it goes up there I, with I, the fake I, mouse I, I, I put on the chair at Thanksgiving yes, dinner. Yes, which your mother was so happy about, too. So, um, you know, you just being disrespectful. The reason I'm telling that story is it's disrespectful. Well, I didn't mean there, to be disrespectful. I know, I know you didn't, but I was just it was to, a not appropriate. It was, it was, it Ladies, was I'm just going to tell you face. right now, if something <laughs> happens to me and I die, you need to contact him and tell him no rubber chickens <laughs> with a tutu. Janice Dodd and, says somehow that doesn't surprise her. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, if your brothers, Tom's got two brothers, I'm like, if your brothers find out you did that, they are going to kill you. So I don't think they found out, but we did have to listen to the other brothers' music at the funeral. What was that song? <laughs> that song. What was that song? What was that song? It was a blues. Uh, uh, gospel they from they Indiana. they somehow connected their phone to a speaker. A Bluetooth speaker at the graveside and played some Hank Williams. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, was it was Hank Williams, wasn't it? No, it was. Uh, anyway, see, every family has a little dysfunction in it, and um, we definitely all the dysfunction came out at the funeral. I, I think that happens a lot, though. Okay, would you like to move on and build <laughs> build another card? <laughs> Let's move on. Are we ready to move on, Thomas? Mm -hmm. Lisa is a winner. So Lisa, I don't know if Tom told you or not, but if you could um, private message us your address, we will ship you your gift. And if you don't use Facebook, you can email me creekbc at gmail.com. We are going to finish off with the, um, the farm card. Now we are using the um, farm edges die to bank this card and this happens to be one of my favorites because you know we're farming people um so this is uh edges i think it's edges 005 farm edges 
and I'm going to show you um, how I used it in and this chunky card. Happy birthday too. And this chunky happy birthday we're using tonight. It does have a background map with it that I didn't use here, but I didn't. We didn't include this in the bundle special because I didn't know how many of you would want um, a farm die set. But if you want one, this is a great one. It has the um, the barn. It has a house that I didn't even use, a house edge. It has the little white picket fence and it does have the cow in it. So um, we are going to start and I need to pick up my mess here because I kind of have thrown stuff all over the place. I know y'all can relate to that. We were working last week, Tom and I, and Tom was helping me die cut uh, mini tools and he um, dumped one of the dies in the trash can. He was trying to pick it, and he started getting all excited. And I'm like, oh, man, don't get all upset. Do you know how many times I've dropped dyes in the trash can? Y'all drop, have you ever dropped dyes in the trash can? Usually I end up dumping the trash can on the floor and digging through the trash. Okay, so I'm getting out my farm stuff, ladies. Hang on here. If y'all if y'all saw all this mess all around me, you'd be like, holy cow, how does that woman how is she doing that? Okay, that's our card. So we are going to start out with our background. Um, we're gonna use a white background, and that piece is white background. Um Five by 3.75. This is my background. So we're going to end up inking that. And when I say background, I mean this background back here. But the first thing we're going to do is build this front part. Okay. So I'm going to turn the camera down and uh, we're going to get to work. Hang on. This is a part I don't like. Here we go. Okay, so how's that looking? Get a card on there so y'all can see how we look, see how we're doing. So whenever I cut these cards, I, again, I'm using heavy cardstock. This particular cardstock, I'm using um, basil. Um, so it's heavyweight cardstock. And for that green piece, my original size on that is 3.75 by five. So it's the same as that white card. Remember we talked about that white card. And the first thing I'm going to do is take that farm edge house or the farm edge barn and put that on and run that through my die cut machine. This piece of paper does not have any adhesive on the back of it. Hmm. Have I lost my screen with you guys? I'm showing a spinning thing on my end. A spinning thing on what you On my end. I'm not sure that um, our connection is good. So if you're still seeing the feed, just stay right there, hun. If you're still seeing the feed, can you guys let us know? How in the world did you lost it? I, it's back, but I just yeah, want to make... Okay, all right. I just want to make sure because some of... Some say the, no, some say yes. Because of the internet connection. Okay, so I'm going to cut that piece of paper and I'm going to run that through the die cut machine and that's going to give me that piece in the back. There's nothing you can do. It. It's but you're, but you're a, right, but it's a connection issue is what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to cut it again. So they didn't miss anything, right? No, they did not miss anything. Um, I'm going to cut it again on red cardstock and this is just a scrap and it has my super tacky tape on the back. And this is, um, we sell super tacky tape in a three inch roll or a six inch roll. And then we put, unroll it, put our paper on it and die cut it. This is why keeping your scraps works out well. I have a whole container that I keep scraps in because you never know when you're going to need a little bitty piece. So in this case, this was a little square and I just put my die on the edge 
and die cut that, and all I need is the barn. So I'm gonna take my scissors, and we're gonna end up trimming that out and layering that up to cover up our barn, okay? Before I do that, I'm gonna add that other piece at the bottom and die cut. So I'm gonna take that, we've die cut that piece. Now we're going to take our green, and we're going to cut our green two by five, it across the bottom. And this is kind of like, if I'm doing a hill type thing, I did it on the, on the train car, do you see how I added the hill to that? I'm gonna lay that on top and I'm gonna tape it down. And I am going to cut through both layers at the same time. That way I have the perfect alignment for that hill. We'll get our die. And when I put this on, I center the die and I like for that hill tape this down and let you look at it. I like to keep the top of that hill so that it actually comes off the green, the lime green. Okay, do you see how my line is right there? You don't have to do it that way. I just think it looks cool. Did you say lime green or lime green? Lime. I ain't lying. I'm a liming. And then we are going to die cut. So now I will have a hill or two colors that are lined up perfectly. If you're only going to use a single sheet of cardstock and not do this technique, then you want to make sure that you're using that heavier cardstock because this takes a lot of abuse. Let's pull that off. We're using undo for that. And now we have those two pieces. Okay. That's going to pop out for us. A little paper fiber. Now we have this. I want you to take your scissors and we trim that off right there and right there. Now we are going to adhere that to, we're going to adhere the lime green to the Kelly green. When I do this, I use liquid glue because I want a good clean adhesion all along that edge. If you use the super tacky tape, you cannot get a clean edge and the slide guide ends up getting caught in it. You don't want that. So we're gonna take that and we're just going to adhere it to the bottom of our card. Now when we do this, we wanna make sure, turn that over, that you're lining that up straight because we don't want any lime green sticking out. Okay. Tom's playing music. We're going to trim. And that is our hill. We're going to get our, well, let's accent first. So fence. The picket fence die is made <laughs> in a landscape form. So you could actually cut it larger and like have a one inch fence going across here. In this case, it's an edge die, so it's meant to be an edge. In this case, I cut it right on the edge of a scrap of paper. I've cut two of those. And let's put a cow down. This um, set has the cow on it. Put our cow down. I'm gonna put our cow right on the edge. Okay. Our neighbor had uh, calves today, Tom. Which one? The Lawsons. They have like four calves. Really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So now I want to trim that off. So I'm just going to cut where those posts are and cut those off all the way across. And we wanna go all the way across our card. So we're gonna cut two of them. So these, uh, the edge dies, you can do many creative things with. When I die cut this, I die cut it with my super tacky tape on the back. So it is already a sticker. 
Peel that off. We can stick that on our card. That's fun. I keep trying to get Tom to build me a fence. I don't think it's going to happen. A fence? Yeah. You want me to either say anything oh yeah you always want he always wants to build a stone fence and i'm always asking for a white fence and so we don't have a fence but we don't have any cows either true so we're going to trim that up but if we keep staying home we probably will oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay there we go now we're going to add our happy birthday i'm gonna have to move my cow over guys do you see my cow he's in the way happy birthday so that's the great thing about undo. If you get that cow wet, you can move him over and you don't have to worry about tearing him up. So happy birthday is going to go on there. You need to center that. Your, your card is under the camera. That's on, there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah. you got to keep me on track, baby. That's your job. Okay, slide guide. Remember, we're going to take, let's see, we have a vehicle with two wheels. So we're going to use two. And those are the males. What I like to do is set those on my work surface and then just put that right over my slit and get the two females and put those on top. Now I see we still have a green barn. We need to fix our barn too, don't we? Fun, fun, fun. Okay, our barn. We need to add our barn. So what we're going to do is take our scissors and trim that off right on the where the dirt line would be. And I have found that it helps when you trim this if you don't just whack it off in a straight line, but you give that a little bit of texture, it helps make it look more realistic. There's my barn. Peel the back off because that had my super tacky tape on it. I'm going to trim that little piece off right there. And that just gives that some dimension. There we go. Now, we will attach our card to our card base. And before we do that, we want to add just a little bit of ink. So we're going to get our ink out. How much ink, Mrs. Creek? Just a little bit, Mrs. Creek. Are you doing ink tonight? Am I doing ink? <laughs> yes. No, yes. you're not. Ink. I to do the ink. Yeah. She never, never let me get out there. Yeah, right? it's because you're the wild child. So I'm going to take my yellow, and we're going to put um, just a little ray of sun on this. We're going to use the J brush. Get rid of the stuff I have floating around here. And I want very little ink on this. I just didn't want a dark look, but I did want to throw Suzanne some color a down. Suzanne question. Yes. Suzanne A says, I love cutting with the tape on it. Does it make the dyes sticky? Diane, it does not. I have, we don't, I have never well, had Suzanne, Suzanne. Suzanne. No residue on the dies. And some of these dies that I've been cutting with, I've been die cutting with, oh my gosh, has it been five years? A gazillion years. Long time. Me cut with tape, long time. So um, <laughs> <laughs> that was probably not appropriate either, was it? <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I think that was so not appropriate. Um, <laughs> Um, no, it will not. And if you do have something um, that gets on your dyes, which I never have, but if what you do, do you, use? you, use? you clean undo. that off with undo because it will clean off all of the sticky gooeys for, wipe it for, uh, all, for the, all time. You just can't put it on. It won't dissolve it. You have to wipe it off. Okay. Correct. I am going to trim my um, tape. Remember how I was cutting that tape earlier? If you prime your scissors with undo and you go to cut something in half, it's really sticky. If you have that undo on your scissors, it will really help you get away with just cutting that right in half. So I'm trimming this down because that slide piece goes right next to the edge. And ladies, you'll notice the more undo you use, the happier you'll be when crafting. <laughs> and probably say things that are inappropriate. Can I blame it on the undo? So I'm going to trim that just because that's really tight on that edge. 
and I don't want that to show, so I'm going to trim it. If you um, don't have the clear foam tape, the other foam tape is going to be harder to cut, but you could like just piece it and not put some foam right there. And again, this is this is happening, this tight space here, because I cut the card a little bit shorter because I like to mat the card. So now, what we need to do is um, get that barn with some adhesive on it too. So we're going to take our foam and we're gonna add it into that barn because we, um, we are making that dimensional. I'm gonna add a little bitty piece over here, right up in there. So that barn has some foam on it too. You can use regular foam if you don't have the clear. We're gonna run that across the bottom. And we gotta run it across the top. So you can see where that slide guide is. We wanna make sure that's not gonna come in contact with that slide guide. I'm gonna trim that down a little bit right there. And that little booger, I'm gonna move. Okay. Add some extra there. Romain S. says, Yes. Going through my supplies, I found your clear adhesive. My size is quarter inch. Is that what you are using and cutting? Yes. And I'm just making sure. I Yes, that is what I have. And um, quarter inch super tacky tape. Oh, right. I'm sorry. What adhesive are, is she talking about? Are you talking about? about the quarter inch super tacky tape or are you talking about the quarter inch clear foam tape, Romaine? Can she hear you? I'm not sure. Or he. So, Romaine, are you talking about um, the super tacky tape or the, or the foam, foam tape? So this is clear foam and it is quarter inch and I'm trimming it because I do not want that slide guide getting caught in it. She said the clear foam. Yes. Yep, that's yes, what I'm doing. Yes, that's what we're using, Romaine. And the smaller it is, the harder it is to pick. The best way to pick it is to get that liner, get that tool in from the side. And these small pieces are going to be easier or harder to pick. Than the big ones so that is why it is better to try to use that all in one run rather than cutting it up like i did so we are working on slide cards tonight next uh, on thursday we're going to work with the step one die I have, um, we're going to make a so toolbox tool for right dad. Front, yeah. yeah, but I'm working. I'll show, I'll, I'll show them in a minute. Work. I'll show them here in a minute. Um, and I just pulled that out. Carefully, carefully. Um, so we'll do step cards. And then we do have a card kit online, which is the Happy Dweedle card kit. And Happy we Dweedle will, birthday. Happy Dweedle birthday. We will do that next Thursday. And um, I'm just gonna get rid of that booger. So if you wanna do the card kit, you uh, purchase the card kit. We do not charge you shipping for that. And you'll have the card kit. And then next Thursday, we're gonna, we will do that together. There is a supply list. When you look at the card kit online or on the blog, there is a complete list of products that you need in order to finish the card and you can use the products that we are providing we're not providing that we're the list <laughs> the supply list if you purchase them you can use the code sunshine and get 20 percent off if you don't want to purchase the products you can use what you have at home 
And if you have questions about that list, you can email me. There, we finally have all that tape off. So we're going to adhere that to the card base. I'm gonna throw down some undo. Throw it down. Throw it down, baby. So if we're not straight, we have time to align. Undo is your friend. If you don't own Undo, you can go to the link. If you go to our blog, you can go to the link for this card and you will see the link to purchase it from Amazon. Now we are going to adhere this to that base. And you see how, because I cut the card down a little bit, it makes this really tight, but I just like having that extra mat back there, that blue. So I'm gonna run my tape around that edge and I am allowing that undo in the background to um, evaporate. Tell them I have lost the glue dots. There they are. See, what would I do without the man? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. It's longer, my love. I would, it would be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's more to life than quiet, right? That's right. If you weren't boring, you'd yeah. be the other guy. <laughs> we're not naming any names, but you're right about that. Okay, we're pulling the tape off, and we're going to adhere that to the base. Now, if you are not very good at adhering this, the two pieces together, you could put undo on this, and that would help. And if you hold your card on the points, if you look at the two corners diagonally and put those down first, then when you put the other two down you know you have it straight. Now we've had time to let that all evaporate and we're ready to add our little truck on there. So we're gonna take our glue dots and we're using the minis and we're going to put those on. So, so many different uh, fun things you can do with this. You could make a butterfly fly or you could do um, fairies. Deb did a astronaut card this week that she sent me. It was amazing. So you can use that slide guide. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting the slide guides under each wheel. One there and one there. And this is tight. I actually designed this to be tight so that you do have to you do have to move it. And that is why we're using that heavy cardstock. Because um the first cards I made, my grandkids picked it up and the Thing went flying out of it. So I tighten them up a little bit. So they are a little tight, but they're meant to be that way so that they don't get tore up. Now we need to add our cow back up in there in our pasture. What's cool is you have that dimension where you can pop that cow in on the background. Fun, fun. When I did the train, I have a slide guide under here and a slide guide under here. And you have to be, when you do that train, you want to do, be sure to do cut two layers. It's fun to add the number for the birthday. Any questions? I'm, go I'm going to move the camera up, ladies, so hang on. Any questions? Are you, are you, are you... I am, we have done two cards, baby. Well, we, got, we, we are rocking and rolling. Got, got Tom another has prize. another prize, but I wanted to see if anybody else had, Undo has a cap. Yes, it does have a cap. <laughs> I think Ruth might have an old because they changed that design back to the original design. So this is, it does have a cap. I never have the cap on mine, but it does have a cap. So this is the um, lip. So that this is actually, this was actually made to take things off. I am totally not using it the way it's supposed to be used, but you can see how awesome it is. So if I have a card and I want to undo it, take something off. The lip is made so that I could put undo in that lip and I can slide that right underneath and I can literally pull that apart with the lip. So that's why it has the little lip on it, which sometimes like in our cases, most of the time we don't really need it. Tom, do you have, an, are you coming over here yes. to do your thing? I'm making sure I have this. I'm sure he has a, a question that's totally appropriate. And what are you giving away? I'm giving away a Sizzix 3D embossing folder. Yes. Okay, yes. so before he... Are, am I coming back or are you finishing out? I'm coming back. No, you're right. coming yeah. back. Yeah, I'm coming back because i got something else to say. Oh, see. Do All your right. question. Hurry okay. Hurry All right. Hurry we're going to give away... A, we're going to give away a Sizzix 3D embossing folder right here. Okay. First person that gets it. Are you ready to... to 
to, to hit the send button. Ready, baby. All right. As soon as I say it, you need to hit the send button. Okay. Okay. I'm on it. All right. Capressed astophobia is fear of what? I'm going to repeat that again. Capressed astophobia is fear of what? First person that can tell me wins the Sysix 3D embossing folder. Okay, so as he's trying to figure out who won, <clears throat> whatever, who is the winner of, what is it called? Because fear, I strove. Crast astophobia. Yeah, that. <clears throat> um, we will do on Thursday, join me. We will, I'm going to show you about the, about the step one die. This die, I'm trying to um, cover topics of things we've had around for a while because these are questions that people ask me. We will be going over the um, step one die and we do have a bundle special for this on the website. We are going to make the, the, um, Hold it! Cynthia Chilton is the winner! <laughs> we Cynthia do have... Chilton is the winner! How did she know that? They, they must have looked it up. Did you Okay, you got to tell us. Did you guys really know that? So um, we will make this, but I'm going to teach you this die. One die makes three different styles of cards, and I did not have time to get all the samples ready for tonight. I will have them for Thursday. So this is a really versatile die. It's a great one to have in your kit. It is an A2 size. We're going to do that on Thursday night, bundle special online. Okay, then, for those who didn't who want to enhance their vocabulary. Yes. Go, no, she go looked it up. Cindy is smart. the fear of constipation. It's the fear of constipation. It's the fear. So if you are afraid of constipation. I, I may have relatives <laughs> that have that problem. And don't you dare say it out loud. <laughs> or I will be disowned. Oh, Cynthia is a nurse. Oh, that's why she's, that's, she, she's she said she looked it up, didn't she? This is the card kit. It comes with the dweedle. Um, pre, we already colored it. We've already die cut it out. This is die cut. These pieces are die cut. This is already stamped on the inside. So we're going to do some stencil work, okay? We're going to use the ink through stencil product to make this background. And if you are not familiar with those, those are new. That's a new product for us. And it has three circles, three masks, and three um, circles. So we're going. I'm going to teach you how to, we're going to do a double stencil setup. We're going to spray some water. So, um, oh, you do need a little mister. Mister is not on that list. You need a mister, a little mister of some kind. So, um, ding, ding, ding. That is on our website. And thank you so much hey, for hey, hey. coming. Hey, why are, we, why, are we doing, why are we doing Thursday? I just told them. All right. Tell I just them went over. 20% off. 20% off, 20 on the off on the website. If you use the coupon code Sunshine. Sunshine, you are my sunshine, ladies. Yes, 20% off if you use the code SUNSHINE. Good till the end of the month. Uh, also, It's a happy pickle. It is a happy I've been in a pickle, but it, sometimes it hasn't been very happy. Oh, we also made an error. We do have one more, more, one more graduation grad bundle, bundle left. I, so I turned it on. Did you turn oh, it on? She yeah. turned it on. Yeah. One, just there's only one. You didn't say thank you. Know. Yes. <clears throat> Ladies, we've been doing this now. How many weeks been? Five weeks? Five weeks? No, four. I don't four. Know. Four or five weeks. Almost a month. We really enjoy getting together with you ladies twice and, and gentlemen, if you're out there, uh, uh, twice a week. We enjoy your company. We have fun with it. We appreciate your business and we love you all. We and are thank you so, much. so thankful for your connection with us and meeting with us and supporting us. We could not do this if it weren't for you. So we are extremely thankful. Appreciate the, the encouraging words. Hope you all stay well out there. Oh, Sharon, that's a good question. And I will get with uh, Diane and um, make sure. Diane, can you like text me and let me know what card you did? I do remember you doing that. And we will get that up on the Pinterest page. That's a good question. Yes. So okay. with that. Hey, Beverly, thanks so much for coming. Heather, Mary Beth, Diane, Norma, Yellow Rose of Texas, Romaine, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. We love you, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Hold it. No, Thursday. Thursday. No, this is Tuesday. We'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> you got it.
unless we happen to have one of those surprise afternoon meetings like we did this week. But we're planning on being here Thursday at 7.30, not Tuesday. Well, we'll be here Tuesday, too, but Thursday and Tuesday. Hey, we should get a rubber ticket. A rubber, yeah, we'll get a rubber ticket. All right, we'll see you. See ya. Have a good evening. Bye. Stay well. Bye.